Hey everybody, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a game called Wonderland Flux. Wonderland Flux is a game published by Looney Labs, designed by Andrew Looney. Plays two to six players. Drop that out. Uh, ages eight to his adult, 10 to 30 minutes. All that's probably accurate. Um, I've played many versions of this, and that's pretty accurate. This is Wonderland themed. So what that means is the cards have Wonderland art. Uh, Flux has really no theme. There's tons of different themes of this. I, I've covered fantasy before. We have Batman, we have Wizard of Oz, we have Monty Python. We have a board game version, which you can click, you know, you can check out as well. I'll link to it. Um, so any flavor that you want of this, you can find. We'll talk about that later. But otherwise, if you want to see how this one works, you can click the link in the video description. I'll play through a few rounds. Otherwise, stay here and we'll look at the components. <music> All right, so let's take a look at the components. These are the components. Deck of cards with a black back and a basic rules card which a white with a white back. The cards are really nice quality. They're not linen finished, but you know, they shuffle well. Um, the rule book, we'll talk about that. I don't love this, but that's kind of how they are in all of them. Everything you need to know is basically on one side. The other side is kind of just some you know, examples of how thing works. The rules are fine. It's basically the same rules. It's in everything, but specific examples based on the set. Um, so the graphic design of these cards is consistent. If you ever played a Flux game, this is going to feel consistent. You have action cards, which are a blue banner, just text and blue banner. The font in this one's a little cooler because they're kind of doing the wonder, uh, you know, the Alice in Wonderland thing. Uh, the goals. Similar deal. I love that the color is kind of faded, which is cool. The art. Now, this is the one that I want to talk about the most. The art in this is all black and white, and that's fantastic. I love the art. I'll show you some more here later. Um, there are surprise cards, which can be played out of turn, which are pretty cool. And then there are a bunch of new rules cards. So there's yellow cards, blue cards, purple cards, green cards, which we'll talk about in a second, which are keepers. And I think that's it. Um, whole pile of cards. Now let's look at some of the art. The art is unbelievable here. Um, here's some of the keeper characters. So there's the carpenter, the dormouse, the knight, uh, the Cheshire cat, the white rabbit, and Humpty Dumpty. Now I don't know if you've ever seen the art of the old one. The other games are like cartoony. Uh, it's consistent throughout. It's kind of cartoony, but at least on the ones I've seen, there might not be all be like that. But I think these look, they look like an old book, which is cool because that's what this is. And they're a little more serious than some of the other drawings, which I really appreciate. So fantastic. I love that. Components are good. They're consistent with every other Flux, every other Flux game that I've played, and I have no issues with them. So card game, nice small box. It's this fat. Love that. Um, so yeah, that's it. So those are the components. Let's talk about what we think about the game. All right, so we've been playing Flux since we started playing board games. I think one of the first games we ever played was Zombie Flux. Um, and maybe one other one. We were, had two games of Flux going on at the same time. It's a fun game. You can just sit around, eat some pretzels, eat some snacks, drink some drinks, have some conversation, and just play a fun game. Um, it's not the greatest game in the world. It's not going to be something that I always want to come back to. But if I have, what's to say? six people who want to just hang out and don't really want to play a ton of games and they're familiar with card games and they know how to draw and play and they can read what the cards do then this will be a game i'd bring out there's a flavor for everybody i like the batman one that's my favorite card game version my favorite version of flux is the board game version we talked about that in another video but my favorite card game version is batman i like the theme it's got the batman the animated series style of art it's fantastic but this one is solid if you're a fan of alice in wonderland you're a fan of this old school black and white art this one may appeal to that person more so depending on who the crowd is maybe we play wonderland maybe we play monty python maybe we play wizard of oz maybe we play batman whatever maybe we play regular flux donor flux who knows 
But yeah, this is a fun version. I enjoy it. It's uh, definitely going to stay in the collection in case somebody wants to play Wonderland Flux because I like the art of it mostly. And yeah, it's a small box. Doesn't take up a ton of room. So there is that. So that is Wonderland Flux from Looney Labs. I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics. And as always, keep gaming. Thank you.